Welcome back to IT Camps. I'm John Weston and in this session we're going to take a look at a demonstration of Hyper-V over SMB. So let me switch over to my demo machine here. So here I'm running server 2012 and this is a standard server. Um, so this is when I logged in I get the server manager and I've gone just to the standard dashboard of the server. SMB is pretty easy to install. Uh, remember it's installed by default so I'm going to go over here and create an SMB share. Okay, so under the server manager dashboard I'm going to go to file and storage services and so now I see the servers, the volumes, and the shares, and the iSCSI targets if I had that configured on my server. So in this case we're going to create an SMB share. So that goes underneath share. So I'm going to click on the share tab here um, with underneath the file and storage services. So you can see I've got a, a spool driver out there but how much free disk space I have available. It took me the first time I got in here really, uh, you know, kind of hard the first time to find it, but come up here under task in the middle of the screen and there's creating a new share. So I click on create a new share and so notice I've got NFS shares or SMB shares. So notice I've got the, the, the different types of SMB shares here. Share quick, this is a basic file, represent the fastest way to create a share. Advanced, walks me through all the different configuration settings and creating an SMB share for applications. For this demo, I'm just going to do a quick one with the SMB shares. And it says, okay, where do you want to put it? Um, I'm going to go over here and select drive D, or I can put a custom path if I wanted to do that. Click on next and give it a, a name. Now I obviously can give it a description if I wanted to do that. And if there's any other settings, we're going to be able to do that here with the next screen. So notice the different optionals that we have here. Um, I can configure the share settings with enabling access based enumeration, allowing cache of that individual share, and then notice branch cache has that file server. So SMB understands the capability of branch caching, and then encrypt the data access. I'm not going to encrypt it in this case, but you sure might want to do that in a secure environment when you're using Hyper-V to store these locations. Then I can set up permissions, so if I can grant individual users or groups of users permissions to the share and the confirmation summarization and off I go and create it. As you can see it's quite simple to create that. Now all I would have to do is go in when I create my virtual machines I could store the VHD files or even the configuration files on this share. Those locations don't have to be on the same physical server where the Hyper-V server is running. So this allows us to do the separation between the virtual servers and how they're running and where the actual storage is of the VHD files could be on another location. So a reminder of the next steps from the session that we just saw the demonstration for. If you want to go out there and take a look at Windows Server, go out there and download the free trial at aka.ms slash hwws2012 or go out and check out our Virtual Academy. That's our free online training on how to set up all these things in Windows Server 2012. If you haven't had a chance, go out and check a lot of the other modules we've got here at the IT Camps on Windows Server 2012. Thanks for joining us.